Every morning Vincent walked to work in Southampton Street from Brixton, crossing Westminster Bridge, sometimes in the company of his sister Anna. A year after he had left London, he wrote to Theo on the 24th of July 1875. I crossed Westminster Bridge every morning and evening and know what it looks like when the sun's setting behind Westminster Abbey and the Houses of Parliament and what it's like early in the morning and in the winter with snow and fog. When I saw this painting, I felt how much I love London, yet I believe it's good for me to be away from it. Westminster stays with Vincent for a long time. On the 25th of November 1876, he wrote to Theo from Alworth where he worked as the assistant of Reverend Slade Jones, I'd gone on a long journey to London. I left here at four in the morning, arrived at Hyde Park at half past six. The mist was lying on the grass and leaves were falling from the trees. In the distance, one saw the shimmering lights of the street lamps that hadn't yet been put out and the towers of Westminster Abbey and the Houses of Parliament and the sun rose red in the morning mist. From there to Whitechapel, that poor district of London, then to Chancery Lane and Westminster, then to Clapham to visit Mrs. Loyer again. Her birthday was the day before. The London office of Goupil at 17 Southampton Street was at first only a stockroom without a shop, an outlet for the wholesale of reproductions published by Goupil. It was only in 1875 that the London branch established a gallery open to the public. Works of art were also sold here. On the 19th of November 1873, when Theo had started working at Goupil in The Hague, where Vincent had worked before, he wrote to Theo about the status of the London Gallery. I'm glad we're both working for the same firm now. Latterly, we've had quite a few paintings and drawings and sold a lot of them, but we still have a long way to go. It has to become more solid and lasting and substantial. I believe that there are still a lot to do here in England, but it can't be done all at once. And of course, the first thing we need is to have good paintings, etc. And that will be quite a feat. Well, we have to see how it goes and do the best we can with the means at our disposal.